Okay, this is the American Iconoclast. This will be the first podcast. I, um, I've been wanting to put something together to share a lot of different views on um, beliefs, social norms, things like that. And, um, you know, I, uh, I haven't uh, done anything like this uh, before. You know, I have debated these subjects and thought about these subjects, of course, who hasn't I've read books and you know, all the normal things, but um, to broadcast myself, this is um, relatively new, so uh, please bear with me while I try to figure all of this out. Um, so where I want to start here is that I'm a, I'm a kind of a late Gen Xer, right? So I'm not, a, I'm not an early Gen Xer. I'm a little on the younger side of the Gen X generation. And I'll say that, um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of things, and, and I'll just say I am a, I'm a dad, right? So I've got a, a boy and a girl, and, and uh, this is relevant for, you'll see why in just a moment. But at any rate, um, I was unaware of kind of the social norms and things that uh, have sort of been building um, like, a, like a boiling teapot uh, since, you know, I was younger and I had to deal with being a boy and, and you know, dealing with girls and social norms and things like that. So uh, as a parent, you know, I started to look into a little bit of what's going on with, let's say, the kids these days, but although I'm not, not you know, extremely old, I'm uh, you know, pushing 40, but, you know, at any rate. Uh, so I, I started to realize, like, how society views boys, how they view girls, because, of course, I want to be a good parent. I want to raise my son to be a good um a good male, a good man, a good figure for, for the, his gender as well as my daughter. So I started digging into a little bit of it. And uh, of course, you know, I'm going to touch on the extremes of any subject like um, like anyone would because, you know, it's, it's the extremes that push the hardest, right? So, you know, people tend to just say, oh, that's, you know, that's just a, the loud minority, you know. Um, and that's fine, but we also have to know that no battle is too small um, when it comes to just um, in general of uh, dealing with belief systems or social norms. So at any rate, I was just, you know, digging around YouTube and I saw this BuzzFeed video, which a lot of people have already responded to. So a lot of the stuff that I'm going to say is probably no different, but it's going to be from the perspective of a father, uh, someone who's raising young children. Who, you know, I see a lot of people who have responded to this are kind of the younger crowd, right? So maybe my perspective is different. Maybe it's the same. But uh, for any rate, um, it's called 36 Questions Women Have for Men. And it's uh, this BuzzFeed video. Now, I, I've watched it a little bit already. And I have to say that I don't think these questions are for men. Like when, when we talk about men, you know, I, I think about a, 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 a male who is confident in himself, who is, uh, has ideas about his own gender, about his own uh, future, about his own career maybe, um, where his place is as it should be as a natural male, right? Um, I think this question, I think this, what they mean of men is their straw man version of men, right? So this is what they sort of built up in their own heads of what men are. So I will try to, um, to do this. I'm trying to um, balance multiple windows here at a time. And um, I don't have another monitor, so just bear with me a second. OK, so I'm going to play first. And I'll try to just play, pause, add some commentary. So just bear with me. And um, so here we go. How does it feel to be the same sex as Donald Trump? Okay, so how does it feel to be the same sex as Donald Trump? Um, that's just a question. That's just an insult posed as a question, right? And it, and the reason I say it's an insult, not that being Donald Trump is a bad thing. Uh, the man is a billionaire. He's successful. You know, he's a bit braggadocious or full of himself, but you know, it, it doesn't matter, right? Like, what does this woman think? Like. All men are connected by the um, invisible penis in the sky, and I know what it was like to be Adolf Hitler, or I know what it was like to be Albert Einstein, or somehow that affects me as a person. It's like, I'm sure, you know, these women have 
problems with other women, I wouldn't ask them, you know, hey, what is it, what is it like to be, you know, the same sex as some evil bitch, right? I, I don't know who I, it's irrelevant. The question is stupid. So I'll uh, try to bounce this forward a bit here. The video has um, got a, kind of an intro that I don't want to bore you with. So um, here we go. Why do you hate rom-coms? Okay, so rom-coms. This is, uh, I guess, romantic comedies, I'm assuming. I'm not up to the slang these days, but why do I hate them? I don't hate them. I just, don't, they don't interest me, right? So, I mean, we're talking about a boring and kind of false misrepresentation of men in relationships, right? I just can't relate to it. Um, you know, it's, it's like, you know, why do most women not like uh, mindless action flicks, you know? Uh, because they can't relate to you know, having that rush of, of test, you know, of testosterone and um, adrenaline in fighting. It's something a man has experienced at some point in his life, right? It's, it's uh, you know, this is just a, this is a question. This question is more around, like, men should watch romantic comedies because these men in these movies are what men are supposed to be according to them. Or do you just feel like you need to hate them? Everybody likes The Notebook. Everybody likes Beyonce. Uh, I don't like Beyonce, and The Notebook was mediocre at best. Uh, I did watch it, and um, I mean, it was a, a well-done film, but it wasn't like something I could directly relate to. I can understand why women would like it. I get it. Um, Beyonce, I be, you know, if you showed me a picture of Beyonce, I'd probably not know who she was, right? I mean, I, I watched Super Bowl 2016, right? Beyonce was during the halftime show. I didn't know who it was at first. Uh, I didn't know who Bruno Mars was at first. Um, I only knew that Coldplay was Coldplay because I'd heard them on the radio before, and I'm not a fan of them either, so whatever. This is, so far the questioning here is uh, kind of falling on its face. It's just a fact. Why do you make women? I question your definition of fact at any rate. Women sit around and talk about men in movies. When y'all easily just sit around and talk about boobs for hours. Okay, I have never, ever in my uh, entire life as a male or a man sat around and talked about boobs for hours. Like, if a woman walks by and she's wearing a shirt that's showing her cleavage and she has nice boobs, a guy might say, hey man, look, you know, check her out. And we'll probably respond with, yeah, those, those are nice cans. <laughs> she's, uh, she's hot. That's great. Now, uh, I need another beer. So where's our waiter? I need a, another pint. And that's about as far as that conversation goes. I don't know if there's enough subject matter in boobs to talk about for hours. I mean, they're just... They're really just two things, right? Unless you want to get into the biology behind, uh, you know, what their evolutionary purpose is. But men aren't going to sit around and talk about uh, how boobs feed babies, right? It's just not... I mean, if you're an evolutionary biologist, maybe, or if you're someone who's interested in that subject, I mean, I, I have friends who are intellectual that we might have a conversation about something like that. But I don't think that's the line of questioning you're going for here. You're trying to paint a picture of men like, oh, well, uh, you know, uh, you guys just sit around and talk about boobs all day and you have, you know, the intellect of, of a snail, essentially. And, you know, that's just not the case. I mean, it, it, most men that I know are fairly intellectual creatures and don't sit around and talk about boobs all day. Anyway, I don't spend a lot of time on this. It's dumb. Why do you automatically assume that you won't like TV or movies that star a female lead? Why? Uh, because most of the time Hollywood makes those movies to be crap. I'm surprised when women are funny. I'm probably funnier than you. I seriously doubt that. Why do you think that we're obsessed with you when we hook up? Nine times out of ten, I just want you to leave too. I'm busy. I got shit to do. Oh, listen to her. I got shit to do. Well, you know what? You probably shouldn't have invited me out or over or uh, whatever you did to lead me on to thinking that you had, um, you know, more important shit to do than to hang out. Because I'll tell you what, ladies, it isn't men most of the time that are sitting around wondering why they haven't gotten a text message in a day. 
or two, right? You know, it's this idea that us men are so pathetic that we just sit around and think about, oh, well, she said she had shit to do. So I'm really offended by that. You know what? Most, I, I'm, you know, I've been in a few relationships before I ended up having a family. And if a woman was ever like, hey, I don't want to hang out. I got shit to do. I'd be like, adios, peace out. There are plenty more fish in the sea. I am not worried about it because if you want to take an attitude like that, then that's fine. I got shit to do too. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, Miss Bitchy Pants. Why can't I sleep with as many people as I want to without being judged? Oh, the big one. Why can't I sleep with as many people as I want to without being judged? Let's see where she goes with this. When men do it, they're congratulating. Why no. do you consider a woman a tease if she doesn't sleep with you after three dates, but a slut if she sleeps with you on the first date? And what okay, so... Uh, no, men don't sit around and talk about how many women we've shagged, at least not normal men like I said in the beginning of this video, men who are fairly confident in what it is to be a man. No, if you're talking about um, pickup artists or douchebags, then yeah, they might sit around and talk about that, but that just reflects on the level of intellect that that particular man has, and I reject the straw man version of a male that you're portraying here. Now onto the slut moniker or insult or whatever you want to call it. Let's talk about that. The reason why you can't sleep with as many people as you want without being judged is because judgment is part of the human experience, right? We did, we did not survive as a species to be judgment free, right? This is how we lived. Like when you came across another person, before these societal structures took place, these constructs, uh, you had to look at every little part of, of what they said, you know, their facial expression, everything. You had to judge everything to make sure that this person wasn't about to bury an ax in your forehead. Uh, judging people is very, very important. Um, also, when it comes to sleeping around, um, you know, I read a study once. Um, they, they studied why blue-eyed men are more attracted to blue-eyed women. It turns out that because genetically, if we procreate, our child will have blue eyes, right? We know that. Um, we, we knew that before we knew evolution existed. Uh, it was just part of being a, a human, right? So men became more attracted to blue-eyed women because they knew that the child that would be born they would know whether it was theirs. Uh, they would know because it would have blue eyes, right? Uh, I know that sounds overly simplistic, and maybe it is to some extent, but it just goes to prove a point that I'm about to make, and that you cannot just sleep around because and not be judged because, one, that's part of the human experience, but also because men use the term like slut to warn other men. It's, it's not to insult you necessarily. Uh, you're doing that a uh, fine bang up job on that on your you know on your own by sleeping around with tons of men and having no self respect but the point is or mental stability let me catch my breath here uh cuz this one kind of irritates me um if i have a good friend of mine and he's going to date a woman who is a fuck train uh, who just sleeps around with whoever she wants i'm going to warn him because there are diseases involved there is a breaking of trust involved. There is a lot, there's hurt. There's a lot of different things that come with that kind of baggage. Okay, so, um, you know, this is sort of the, you know, women want to have it all. They want a man who's going to uh, treat them like a normal woman, you know, and, and give them respect and all these things and, and be equal. But at the same time, they would get upset if I was just sleeping with as many men, many as men or women, it doesn't matter, uh, as I wanted, right? So just as you're judging men for calling you a slut, you're, you're you know, you wouldn't like it if we were judging you by, your, by the question in itself. So, you know, I just reject this whole idea that we can't judge other people. Um, it's such, it's such a selfish and immature outlook on life to say that, well, you can't judge me. What the hell I can't? Of course I can judge you. What world does no mean yes? No means no. Why do you say that women... Okay, in what world does uh, yes mean no? I, I saw this thing 
I think it was in California where you'd have to get signed consent for for sex, and if you didn't, you basically could be prosecuted for rape, um, even if it was consensual. So, anyway. Are too emotional to be leaders, then justify catcalling by saying men just can't control themselves. Uh, men can control themselves quite well. If we see a good-looking woman, we might say something to her. Um, some men are dicks and some aren't. Why do you think that just because you're nice to me, I owe you my body? Why would you? I don't think that. Would you ever send an unsolicited dick pic? Well, let's see. Um, I think the, <laughs> the core of this issue is women want to post as many provocative pictures as they want of their own bodies and they don't expect, you know, dirtbag men to send them pictures of their dicks. Um, hey ladies, stop showing your ass and tits all over the place and guys won't send you dick pics. I can guarantee you there are women out there who don't post provocative pics that rarely ever, if ever, get a dick pic in their inbox. So, there's that. Why do you feel like it's okay to harass women or make offensive comments about women, but when somebody does it to your sister, it's not okay. okay. Um, I don't make offensive comments towards women unless they offend, they make offensive comments towards me. And uh, I've said plenty of offensive things to my sister. Thank you. How does it feel to interrupt me when I'm in the middle of making a make I don't know. How does it feel, you feminazi? Point during a meeting. Why do you have to sit with your legs so wide open? Because I have a dick and balls. I get that you have balls. Oh, you do. But... I don't stand around with my arms wide open to make room for my boobs. Okay, somebody failed biology class hard. Like, really fucking hard. Okay, uh, why don't you lay, if you have boobs, why don't you lay down on your chest all the time? Uh, because it's in the fucking way, <laughs> you know? It's like, here lady, uh, this is what I want you to do. Since uh, you obviously don't have a man, because uh, what man would sleep with you, but... Go to your uh, kitchen and grab, um, I don't know, uh, two pieces of broccoli and two grapes. <laughs> I don't know, fuck, whatever. Uh, put the two grapes between the two pieces of broccoli and then try to close the two pieces of broccoli. It won't work. You know why? Of course, I get a phone call in the middle of this. Sorry for that interruption. Um, yeah, so take the two pieces of broccoli and uh, try to close them with the grapes between them. Yeah, dumb. Pure dumb. Why are women perceived as the weaker sex, even though we literally birth you? Like watermelons through like this. Why is it so bad? Um, because you are the weaker sex. I mean, that's just a simple fact. Uh, you, you evolved to birth human beings, that, that you're biologically evolved to do that. Just as men are biologically evolved to lift heavy shit. It's just a fact. Uh, to show your emotions. It means you're... Uh, let's see where we're going with this. You're human. Why are you... Are men don't show their emotions the same way as women because most men have control of their emotions. We resolve our emotional distress amongst ourselves quietly in our own minds. We, we, not all men are like this, I'm making generalizations just as you are, but in, in general, we have control of these things, and, and we don't understand why women can't or don't. Always trying to prove your masculinity to me. Uh, I'm not. Why the f*** isn't it ladylike to cuss? Uh, it's not ladylike or manly-like, it's just disrespectful, unless the context fucking needs it. When do the words get gendered? Why is it your first instinct to doubt women who have been sexually violated or raped? Why Innocent and pro until proven guilty, but thanks. Next. Why do you assume a woman's angry because she's on her period? Um, I don't. Most of the time I don't know when a woman's on her period unless she is angry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't assume that, but most of the time women do get a little frazzled when they're on their period. It's just a general thing that happens, I don't necessarily take that as anger or, I mean, if I was going through massive cramps and bloating and bleeding, and I would be pretty fucking annoyed with anyone who was near me anyway. I mean, I think that's just a human thing. 
Why do you think women that wear makeup are false advertising? We can say the same thing about your dick size. Why? Uh, no, you can't because you can't see our dicks. So, I don't care if you wear makeup or not. I'm going to choose a woman based on a lot of different factors, not just makeup. So, you can't say that about our dick size because we're not telling you what our dick size is. We're not showing you what our dick size is. It's not in your view. So, therefore, this is a stupid, stupid comparison. Why isn't it weird that there's a bunch of old white men sitting in a room making legislation about what I can and can't do with my body? Holy dumbassery. Um, why the fuck did you vote for an old white man if you didn't want them representing what you can do uh, legally? I don't get this question. It's, it's beyond stupid. You voted for these people. You have a coochie? Why are straight guys so obsessed with lesbians? How uh, we're not actually uh, obsessed with lesbians. It's just a simple fact that two women are better than one. We don't want to see a hairy guy in porn. So, yeah, we're not really obsessed with lesbians. Does it feel to get kicked in the balls? Do you ever it hurts like hell. Do you ever get tired of trying to be manly all the time? Uh, fuck no. In fact, uh, I love being manly all the fucking time. I like being a man. I like being masculine. Uh, I have a beard. I... Uh, you know, I have a short haircut, I've got, I like to lift weights, I like to run, I like to go cycling, I like to do manly shit. I, I renovated my entire house mostly by myself because it's a manly thing to do. Why do you don't want us to be manly? We are men. Time. Why are you so afraid of gender equality? Why? I'm not. Why do I deserve to be paid less than you? You're not paid less than me. Uh, in fact, this is an interesting question because I've got a little anecdotal personal um, experience in this area, and I'll get to the wage gap in a moment, but I'm in a certain field, and I make a certain amount of money, and we'll just say my wife got into that same field. Her, her salary excelled faster than mine did by like a factor of double, so it took me... It took me about 10 years to get where she is now. She's been in this industry for, I think, four, maybe five years. She's not the salary I was after it took me 10 years to get to that salary. So to try to say that, now I have more experience than her, so I do make more money than her, but my title is also a more senior level title at this point than her. But if I compare, the projection from when she started to the salary that she attained in that short amount of time uh, versus mine, uh, she was paid way, way better than me. In fact, the wage gap is complete bullshit. They just took all men's salaries and all women's salaries and said, women make 70 whatever cents on the dollar compared to men. And they didn't compare job for job. So there's that. In what world does 77 cents equal a dollar? Uh, nowhere. In what world does 68 cents equal a dollar? Go back to math class. How is that fair? Why are you intimidated by a woman who makes more money than you? I'm not. I'm married to one that if, well, she doesn't make more money than me, but she did at one point, and I was never intimidated. In fact, I was happy about it. I like money a lot. That's awesome. More money. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> this, this chaps my ass, woman. Okay, so it's just money then. So you think that women should be given uh, jobs as CEOs and boards of directors, but you don't think women should be picking up my trash, my garbage, right? No, that's, that, that's a man's job. Why are opinionated women seen as bitches? Um, because sometimes they are. When opinionated men are seen as bosses. Uh, that's not true. They're seen as assholes or dicks unless they are your boss and they're seen as bosses, same as women. Why aren't you speaking up when you hear your male friends behind closed doors make jokes that are offensive to women? Why are you so... Are you uh, this doesn't actually happen as often as you'd like it to, Miss Feminazzi. We don't make offensive jokes about women. It's just not... And if we do, we know it's a joke. We see, you're the one... <laughs> this is funny, too, because this is the same girl, woman, lady that said that she was funnier than me earlier in the video. Now you're questioning why someone doesn't speak up against a joke. Like, if you're so funny, you should know that humor is what it is. It's, it's meant to 
uh, be thought-provoking in a negative or positive way. I'm afraid of recognizing your own privilege. Doesn't mean you're. Whoa, privilege! Where, where did that come from? That's kind of the haymaker of the video, isn't it? I think this was all building up to that. Uh, there is absolutely nothing about being a white male that is privilege. Uh, we are looked at as misogynists, as um, you know, uh, control freaks, as you know, and, and these women, they like to say, well, because white men are in charge. Well, first of all, you voted for old white men to be in charge, so that's why they're there. And secondly, um, they're, I mean, if you took the Congress and the presidency, well, not right now because we have a black president, so that's, uh, okay, so anyway, the Congress subtracted the minorities from the Congress and then took the white males who supposedly have privilege because they were elected to do a job, anyway. <laughs> What do they make up of society? Like point zero 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 zero. I don't even know what the percentage is. It's like nothing. It's minuscule, right? It's it does not. It is not representative of men. Just because some guy, like you know, you brought up in the beginning, Donald Trump, is rich, does not mean that all the rest of us have some invisible white privilege that makes us into uh, successful billionaires. It's just it's. bad person. Just recognize it and do something. About something. I won't recognize it because it's bullshit. About it. And the video is over. So I just wanted to make this video because the reason I wanted to make this video is not necessarily that I feel like this is something I need to respond to um, in a way that affects me, right? I'm a grown ass man. I've got a career that most of this stuff is sort of behind me at this point. I'm not a young, I'm not a young lad, but I am a father of both a man, or a boy, and a girl who will eventually become a man and a woman, or a lady. I, I guess lady might be offensive to, to women or feminists at this point. I'm not quite sure. I actually like the term lady because it, 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 you know, it establishes that you're, you know, you're a woman, you're a feminine creature, and, and you have a certain place, and, and that's the molding of the new generation of human beings, and that's, that's a very beautiful thing. But... Uh, like I said, it doesn't affect me, but however, when my son and my daughter get to age and start dating, they're going to deal with this kind of stuff, and this kind of stuff is nonsense, and it can be dangerous, especially when you look to, I think it was California, I don't have this study in front of me, but I apologize, uh, where there was this whole signed consent thing, like you have to sign a paper for, for consent, like, oh, can I put my hand here, sign, okay, I was allowed to put my hand on your thigh. This is nonsense. I mean, this whole culture of like, yes means no, and no means all this craziness. It's like, okay, look, most guys know what no means. Uh, you know, I, I'm not, I wasn't born yesterday. Like, I, I lost my virginity at some point. Um, I have two children, and there's proof of this. Uh, you know, I, when a girl said no, that was it. I backed off, right? They, men are not uh, these rapist lunatics that you want to make us out to be and because you regret having sex with someone does not make that rape so let's get that very very clear um these social constructs that these people are trying to build are dangerous to our sons and our daughters because for our sons they have to deal with this nonsense and i don't need to explain to you why it's nonsense or why they have to deal with this but for our daughters you know there's a couple different factors here. They are either going to be indoctrinated into this, which is awful, or there's going to be a blowback from men from this. And, you know, you can expect men at some point to get fed up. I mean, here I am making a video about this. Like, the only reason I do, or I want to, is because I feel like this is going to affect the next generation, my, you know, my kids and my kids' kids. And I think it's nonsense. It's just complete, utter bullshit. Feminism, when I was growing up, was, you know, um, in the 80s, it was sort of like women wanted to get into the workforce more, right? So they were just waitresses and nurses and stuff, and they had their own niche in society, and they wanted to get into business a little more. And it, feminism wasn't quite as Looney Tune, or at least it didn't seem to be as, to me. Um, women are now a protected class in society, and, and that's just a fact. It's just truth. Um, tell me where, anywhere in government, 
there are uh, any organizations, any departments, any, any sort of branch that addresses male problems. Um, you know, males suffer from more suicides, from, uh, you know, uh, prostate cancers, from, we, we have our own problems, is what I'm saying. And there is absolutely nothing in government, or no one suggesting that we legislate to help men. It's just not going to happen. And I'm not saying it should happen. You know, but equality is equality, right? Men have a role. Women have a role. Women should be able to choose what they want to do with their future, whether that's staying at home with their kids or working. Whatever they want to do, fine. I'm all about freedom. I'm good with it, you know? Uh, men, same thing. Now, when you start putting women into positions just because of their gender, that's just simply wrong, you know? Um, men don't get together in giant meetings and talk about how we can, you know, kind of destroy, you know, women's lives and control them. It just doesn't, it doesn't happen. Anyway, uh, I'm going to close on that because I'm just repeating myself. This is the American Iconoclast, and I hope to keep these going. And um, please look out for more. I'll open up, I'll put this on YouTube, but I'm thinking about putting it on iTunes. I understand there's kind of a podcast area there. I uh, apologize, I can't show my face. I work in corporate America, and if I were to show my face, it is possible that someone could come after me and possibly get me fired. And like I said, I have children, and they need food in their bellies and a roof over their head. And um, I don't want anyone to take that away from them, so I will be as guarded as I can. I'm not hiding. I'm just not outright showing myself. So anyway, have a great day.